and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for May the 27th, 2022. <laughs> I don't remember what you were in for a second. And it's kind of interesting because it's dusk, the sun is setting, but the image I got when I was um, just tuning in was actually of the sun rising, of a dawn, of a new horizon or a new dawn, a new energy. And the fact that it's the sun as well, it brings uh, an energy of clarity, enlightenment, it shows, you know, shines the light on a lot of things. Uh, so it can bring renewed optimism, it can bring uh, energies around vitality and joy. We've got the Page of Pentacles, I will turn it the right way up. The Queen of Pentacles has come out. So yeah, you've got something here at this moment in time that you're looking at. And it feels like it's in the right hands, I would say, because it's in your hands at this moment in time. And there's something that's kind of quite nestled about it and comfortable about it, which is interesting. The Six of Pentacles, look at all these pentacles, very earthy energy. The Five of Cups, okay. And the Nine of Wands, interesting. And we have the Five of Wands, okay. So... Yeah, look, I mean, it's an interesting, a bit of a mixed bag of energy. The Six of Pentacles right in the center there is saying that, uh, yeah, it, it's like restoring balance or the need to restore balance within relationships or within your world in terms of your material resources. Do you need a little bit of extra money coming in or do you need to be investing money in something else? Um, it's kind of saying... You've got this thing that you're working and developing on that is grounding down into a, a, you know, it's got a lot of potential here. And, yeah, you've got your comfort zones around it. You, you're getting comfortable with the idea of it or you're getting, you're kind of starting off going, I want it to kind of feel very comfortable or nestled or, you know, start off in a comfort zone. But it's sort of, um, uh, strangely, it's a little bit of a sense of uh, perhaps, you know, it's a new beginning, but it doesn't feel like it's actually starting yet. It feels like you're looking at it. It feels like you're deciding what, how much time, effort and energy you want to put into something. But there's also energies here with the Nine of Wands where it's the wounded warrior, you know, there is something that has kind of... Uh, hurt you or upset you or saddened you and there's still something that you know from the past there's still old energies that it's hard to kind of take this out this thing that you're developing out of a safe place at this moment in time and put it out into a maybe a more competitive arena or a, a, an arena where it's going to get tested, where it's not so comfortable, but you know it's, uh, if it wants to get better or if you want to get better at something, that's what needs to happen. It's a shifting of the comfort zone levels, but there's also a, a weariness and a suspicion of doing that or a, a sense of I don't want to do this, I could get hurt kind of energy because maybe you've been hurt in the past. So it's like this something you're working and developing on and it's definitely to do with the element of earth here. So it could be to do with money, career, work, uh, health. Uh, it can be any of those sort of things. Something's coming in that you're kind of wanting to keep it safe at this moment. You're playing it safe even though you know that you can't do that at uh, it's uh, it's a new dawn, like the sun is rising and there's you're seeing things very clearly, perhaps where you've held something or somebody back from reaching its full potential because you wanted to kind of keep it in a safer place or a more comfortable place. and But you're getting these messages that it needs to kind of, uh, something needs to kind of be better, <laughs> be bigger and better or to do better and to kind of test itself a little bit. There's challenge here that's coming through here, challenging growth and also challenging your motivation for why you want to keep this in this safe place. So that's why it's kind of like you're getting these messages that you, you can't stay in that place, but there's a part of you that's suspicious of it going, I don't know if I should trust this message or not. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look what's happened in the past. But it, it's, an, it's a mixed bag. So there's a bit of like uh, a bit of conflict around it, to be honest. Uh, but 
it's just sitting with it for the for the moment, sitting with this energy. You've, you've still got this thing in your hand. It's in good hands, like I said. It's in your hands. So, but it's just this knowing that something, uh, this safe place cannot remain forever, that at some point it needs to expand and grow. And it can almost be a sense of it's kind of like, you know, um, you know, my little boy's grown up and he's, now turned into an adult and about to leave home and it's like he's there's an energy of something kind of ready to mature and grow up and um you know take on a whole new kind of you know being or reality i guess and it's a sense of there's a little bit of sadness of where it was in the past it was nice you know it's nice that's that's my little boy but now he's all grown up and has to leave home and go out into the world kind of thing to, in order to kind of prove himself or to kind of expand and grow and yeah it's not easy out there absolutely he's going to get um, all sorts of things thrown at him and but at the same time it's necessary so it's like I'm sad that you're leaving but at the same time it's a sense of knowing that this needs to grow and develop. So you can apply that to whatever it is that you're le- you're, you've got that has been in this nice little safe place for the moment, um, whether this is a relationship or somewhere, you know, you've been in your career or where you've been creatively in your life, even spiritually, but you know that you need to kind of step out into this kind of other, it's sort of more of an external energy of stepping out into the world and, and um, expanding. So it's yeah, it's an interesting energy and I would say just honor those feelings of feeling a bit sad or understanding that some that something is passing, something that was kind of good and safe, but it's now time to kind of step into this new dawn, these new horizons that are being presented to you at this moment in time, new comfort zones which you will get new re-comfortable with, you know, but it, it's um something cannot stay in this uh place it cannot stay in this uh, it, it will stagnate if that happens so it's this knowing that something needs to move on and expand and grow and it, it's the acknowledgement of what was once there in the past and also a sense of slowly accepting that this needs to um, ex- it needs to evolve into the next stage so yeah, that's the reading for the 20, what date were we, the 27th? Yeah, the 27th. So, yeah, that's that's the energy. <laughs> and ultimately all these, these energies, they're gradually just nudging us out and out and out of the comfort zones uh, into a bigger version of ourselves. So, yeah, that's it. And there will be challenges around that, but also there will be rewards. So that's it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.